What are you gonna do today? Well, that car needs a brake adjustment. That's a 62. That's the last year that Chrysler used the center plane brakes. They are not self-adjusting. In other words, if you've got a 63, or like that 64, or something newer, you don't have to adjust the brakes because they are self-adjusting. Center plane brakes came out. Well, the word came out in 55, but uh, if you go back into the 40s, you can see some of those brake systems Chrysler are using where they've got uh, two cylinders for front brakes with that S pipe that connects the upper and the lower. on the rears. So if you want to use a broad brush, 57 through 62, here's how you adjust the brakes. But we're going to make our job a little easier today because we have these things called quick jacks. They're a wonderful little way of elevating a car without having to put a, a, a two-post or a four-post lift in your garage. As you can see, they don't take up much floor space at all. I know some guys that hang these on their walls and they take up even less floor space. So, let me show you how they work. As you can see, one end is on wheels. So there's a handle that you can put in the other end and you pick it up and you roll it to your approximate location. The only thing you want to be sure of at this point is that this safety catch bar is on the outside. So this is the driver's side. You just want to make sure that you've put your passenger side similar. There. There's your safety catch bar. Now it doesn't matter whether you have this end towards the front or that end towards the front so long as you've done it the same for both sides because when these come up they they jack like a trapeze there you see the the linkage right here so this is going to come up but it's also going to go back so here we are on the driver's side and I have the lift jack roughly positioned. We're going to want to pick the car up here and and on the front we're going to want to pick it up somewhere in here. Now, right now we're just getting it roughly into position. The power source for this jack is this hydraulic unit here. So here's the power unit laid out. Runs off a of 110. That is your controller for the up and the down. 
And it's got two hydraulic lines which have quick disconnects and they match up with the lift. This is power up, gravity down. So that makes it simple. The kit comes with a bunch of rubber blocks and they go into the recesses of the lift and they meet the frame. You'll see that here in just a second. Now I'll just hook things up. Let's load the blocks. And bump it up a few inches. See, she works pretty quick. Now we're going to check our positions to see how close we are to catching the right spots under the frame. Because this is the time when you move the lift jacks to get them in the final position. So I gave the jacks a final scoot over and let's see how they do for picking up the proper point. There, you can see the rubber block making nice contact with the frame. And checking the back. Trying to hold the light and the camera. So I'll check the other side and raise it up a little. We have good contact all around. So Up she goes. Now there you can see the safety stop rod starting to work right there. And there's two or three spots where it catches and locks in. And as far as stability, you know, she's not going anywhere. So for something like, I suppose an oil change, uh, certainly in the case of brakes, this will work just fine. Now this will stay up by itself, but if you're gonna do that, and it hasn't caught the safety catch, put some, uh, put some jacks under it. And there you are. It's presently being supported by this safety stand. This is the release mechanism. In order to lower this, you would raise it, which releases the force on the safety stand, flip this thing down, and then it'll act like a nose guide down the rest of the release ramp. So there you go, quick and easy. She's up, ready to get to work on the brakes. So here we are in the 62 service manual. That's what your front brakes look like. And that's what your back brakes look like. They are different. 
And on page 5, 5, there's your, there's your adjusting. The rears, they're pretty easy because you just turn them outward. The fronts, as you can see, they are not the same. This is the front driver's side brake on a 1960 300F. That is the other side of the adjusting cam, and so is that. There you see the hex. And the other side. And there you can see the adjusting cam. Looking at the left front driver's side. There's your adjusting cam. It is 7 sixteenths. Sometimes these can be all buggered up, but those are in real good shape. So. Now the way to tighten the brake for the left front is to turn this towards the forward. The other one is going to be on the back side. I'm going to have to scoot over in order to get you to it. And let's see what I can do. There you go. That is the driver's side rear adjuster. And if you want to tighten the brakes, that one would go clockwise. passenger side front to give me more brake that has got to go counterclockwise and the same thing with the one in the back here which will also be hard to show you and there you go for the back brakes this is the passenger side there's the adjuster, there's the other adjuster. The back adjuster goes clockwise. The front adjuster goes counterclockwise. Uh, on this car, the brakes were working okay, but the uh, brake pedal he had more travel on it than what I would like. This car's also had quite a few miles put on it since the last time the brakes were adjusted. So that's why I wanted to adjust them, really just to get more brake pedal. Uh, really couldn't say anything that one wheel needed more adjusting than the others. Uh, I would just run, run the adjuster in the tightening position while spinning the wheel. And either I got grab or it would st stop the wheel entirely. And then you back it off. But as it is right now, I mean, one of these wheels will spin with just a hint of drag. So now let's get her on down. What we're going to do is raise it so that that release pin will engage. Up we go!
There, did you see it flip over? Now what we do is flip it like that, and now it acts like a guide for going down. Hitting the down button. So a couple of quick tugs and the driver's side comes out. Now, I mentioned these are a gravity down. You can see that the passenger side has not come down all the way by itself. Well, they're new and they're stiff. So that's what you do. A little bit of your own weight, down she goes. Now they're going to go back over in the corner and quick and easy, the job's done.